This is your last chance to negotiate a great deal in the greater Toronto area for a property. And I'm going to tell you why. This is Nicole Forrester, real estate broker with eXp. Welcome to my August 2024 real estate snapshot for the greater Toronto area. And I'm going to let you know why this is absolutely the last chance for you to negotiate as a buyer a really great deal and property in the greater Toronto area. Sales were up year over year in July 2024 by 3.3%. We saw the Bank of Canada bring down their rate again in July for a second time, and we have projections that they're going to do so for the rest of the year and into 2025. The average price of a home year over year was down marginally by 0.9% to a million one oh six. The average price of a detached home was down just slightly by 0.1% to a million four hundred and twenty-five thousand. The average price of a townhome was down 3.4% to 914,000. And the average price of a condo apartment was down 2.2% to 718,000 dollars. With a September 4th announcement looming from the Bank of Canada, all expectations are that they're going to drop their rates by a quarter of percent to a half a percent. Um, this absolutely could be the last chance for a buyer in the greater Toronto area to negotiate a great deal on a property right now while there still is inventory. Real estate agents know this, but buyers are still quite complacent. There's a lackadaisical summer attitude out there on the street. And most real estate agents know that the inventory that we have in the greater Toronto area can roll up overnight as the interest rates go down and more buyers have greater price availability or credit availability uh, for them. And with the long-term projection of uh, bond rates uh, going down and actually uh, variable rate mortgages going down, all of this means is that, um, you know, it's going to be easier to carry. We also had the, um, the banks implement a 30 year amortization. Interestingly enough, with a 30 year amortization, in the long run, it costs you more in interest, but in the short run, it reduces your mortgage payment and your carrying costs, which is the relief that Canadians are looking for right now. Um, you know, the way to offset that, and I saw this fantastic financial piece, is that if you take a 30 year amortization, you can um, save up an extra payment for the year and make that payment directly towards the interest that'll offset the long the extra interest costs of taking the amortization out um, and actually throws your am your real amortization back to about 17 years so that's just a little trick for you if you want to take advantage of the 30 year am but you don't want the penalty the interest costs over the long term just save up an extra payment put it towards your actual um your actual directly towards the principal, and that's gonna get you where you wanna go with lower monthly payments. So, you know, we have in the condo market something that's happening differently than what's happening in the housing market, which is that because of what's going on with landlords and tenants in Ontario and um, a lot of pre-construction condos coming up now and closing, we're seeing that the condo market is quite flooded with um, people who want to sell. Uh, we might see that for some period of time and that has more to do with um the fact that the landlord tenant uh laws in ontario are not favoring property investors so a lot of property investors are taking their business elsewhere outside of ontario and we're seeing that in the very specific condo apartment market. But it's not unusual for condo apartments to be running at a different trajectory than the actual detached housing market. So that also supports the fact that we are looking at and we're poised to really have a run up in 
prices um, on our in our detached market. So if you are thinking of buying in the next uh, six months, year, um, or even year and a half, I suggest that you get out there right now. And guess what else? You can lock in the lower rate by the time you close. So you can qualify at the current um, rate with your mortgage broker or your bank. And once you've secured your deal and you've locked in your price, which is probably the lowest it's going to be in a long period of time ahead, then you close 30 to 60 days, your bank or your mortgage broker is going to guarantee that you get that lower rate um, as the rate goes down over the next little while. So you get the best of both worlds. Reach out to me directly at 416-909-2389 um, or DM me on social media platforms under Nicole Forrester, real estate broker. And I'd be happy to give you a list of properties that are not set up for bidding wars right now that are great value buys in the greater Toronto area. Area that just won't be around for much longer, reach out to me.